Singapore's hawker food is known to be salty, spicy, and sinful. But healthy? Yes! One of the country's underrated hawker dishes is something you can actually indulge in. I think the closest equivalent from the West would be something like a Buddha bowl. You know, you have all the different toppings. I feel that it's very appealing and it should be very hip because it's very healthy and it appeals to the yoga going bunch. The soup is nice. It tastes as though everyone blend all the vegetables together but it doesn't have the, the disgusting taste as how it would look like. Yeah, it just tastes nice. We have tried a lei cha, we will show you how to eat it. The main thing is to put the soup and put the soup down and then put the soup down and then eat it slowly. When you take a bite of it, there's like crunchy peanuts, there's the vegetables, uh, then there's like the flavor of the soup. It tastes like very earthy. The tea itself, the lei cha itself, tastes very herbaceous. I'm eating like my recommended five daily servings of vegetables in one meal. Hello, everyone. I'm Sharon. Uh, I'm Kai Kejia Lao Lei Cha. I've been here for 11 years. Thunder Tea Rice, or Lei Cha Fan was created by the Hakkas in southern China. But it has nothing to do with the weather. The Hakka word for to grind and the Mandarin word for thunder both sound exactly the same. This is how its English name came about. Sharon's thunder tea rice is a family recipe that's been passed down for generations. When you go to the hawker center, right, like so many of the dishes are centered on meat or seafood, and it's so hard to get your greens in. I don't think there is any other dish in Singapore that truly celebrates vegetables and in a way that um, meshes our, you know, our heritage with the celebration of local produce. This is Pamelia. She's a chef and cookbook author. Also, am the founder of um, Singapore Noodles, which is this newsletter that is focused on keeping Singapore's food heritage alive. And she loves thunder tea rice. I feel that it's so underrated. A lot of my friends in my age group, they've never had it before, and it's so shocking. There are very few hawkers that actually sell this. Our雷茶跟外面的雷茶是不一样的 the core flavor of, of um, thunder tea rice really comes from the, the broth. This green soup is known as lei cha or thunder tea. We have lei cha and the outside is different. Because our tea is our own. We have to do it at home. These are all the materials of the lei cha. This is the lei cha. Lei cha is the lei cha. Lei cha is the lei cha. The closest thing that I can think of in terms of flavor would be pesto. <laughs> Which sounds very outlandish because it's like this is such a Chinese dish. And it's really good for you. It's really about um, how food being medicine. I feel that this dish really exemplifies that. So, I eat at this uh, thunder tea rice almost every day because I'm having diabetes, so I need to eat diet food. So, I find this is uh, helping in my controlling my sugar in my blood. I didn't get sick of it because uh, there's a lot of vegetables. Uh, it's a mix of a lot of vegetables and the brown rice, and they cook it well, so there's no no complaint. Uh, and with the green soup, it's nice to drink the green soup also. So, how did Lei Cha come mm. about? One myth says that sometime around 200 to 300 AD, a general was leading his troops through a mountain pass when his soldiers suddenly fell ill. 
a local Hakka doctor, made a miracle tea that helped the soldiers recover quickly. That tea was Lei Cha. Luckily, the recipe was handed down. And when the Hakkas moved to Southeast Asia, to Singapore, a lot of them were working as laborers or coolies. They couldn't cope with the tropical heat, so they poured the tea into rice and they started eating it really quickly like that. And so it, it became this Singaporean tradition. It's a tradition hawkers like Sharon are still keeping alive. I've come here almost um, at least once a week and they're great. I used to be someone who um, don't like Lei Chao, so I, I, I get disgusted by the colour of the, the soup and you know, the, the bowl full of vegetables. One day I just decided, like, you know, why not try Lei Chao right now? It looks healthy, but for some reason it tastes really good also. Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm the producer of the video that you just watched. I personally am a huge fan of Thunder Tea Rice, even though it's actually quite hard to find it in hawker centers in Singapore, just because it's so like laborious and it requires a lot of effort to make it. There are two different ways of eating Thunder Tea Rice. Some people like to pour the broth in and mix it up and eat it like a porridge, and some people like to sip it on the side. So tell us in the comments below how you like to eat your Thunder Tea Rice. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ma. 